We need to be cautious, not to let anyone else see this grand collection. It could be extremely dangerous for both of us. Deliberately preserved heads from Mesopotamian marshlands. Such cultivated minds kept in permanence by getting dried under the scorching sun with methods now lost to us. As well as the sun, they were believed to be symbols of knowledge. A stuffed sub-adult Nile crocodile, one of the oldest creatures still living on the face of the earth. A medicine man mask from Northwest Africa. A sacrifice ritual mask from Middle Africa. like a preparation for a long trip. This relic is from Madagascar. I have two versions, but this one is extremely rare. It is called Ur Hanaldi. Nobody knows exactly what it means, but from its symbolic depiction of a dark sphere inside a light one, it is thought that it could mean the underworld. I had it brought by an old captain friend who often visits that island for trading purposes. is exactly the same room I've been in, in one of my visions.
a native drum from the Asmat people of New Guinea. Their creation myth says Fumeripits made the first carvings of men and women. By beating on this drum, Fumeripits caused the figures to dance, bringing them to life. According to legend, this very djembe belonged to a learned drummer from Senegal who can speak with the dead by rhythmically beating it. Like something's missing here. What? A serpentine ritual mask from India, which is said to have hypnotic effects on the one who deeply gazes into its eyes. Woodland Lizard Spirit Mask. Sounded like the floor is hollow back there.
When using Cornarium, we are able to be seen as well as to see. For some time, I was detecting a conscious something, previously unseen by my rudimentary vestiges. Only lately, it becomes clear to me. Now it comes into every session, and seems to materialize more and more each time. I won't... I won't attempt describing it, but only would say that it's not benevolent. From what I can get from its glowing semblance, which I believe is used as a way of communication, it can sense you only if you spend a considerable time within the sessions. I've read about it in the cursed Necronomicon and some elusive records compiled from deep-rooted Bedouin oral literature. Thus learned, that it tries reaching the corporeal vessel to dominate and execute the wanderers of the beyond, such as ourselves. But again, against all warnings, I was a fool to believe that I can stop it with just simple signs and incantations. As a resort, we ended up lighting up the place with myriads of candles as well as electrical lamps, but still shiver with fear with every noise our rundown enclave is causing, isolated from ancient darkness of the night. Mask of an all-powerful moon goddess esteemed by an eastern island tribe, now lost in time. It is from the private collection of the late, famous hermit, Klaus von Herdeth. Don't ask me how I get it. I have my ways. Elusive mask from the submerged parts of Kogulin Islands. A cryptic mask with an untraced origin. Skulls from New Guinea that are believed to be housing protective spirits. This is called the Mask of the Beholder. Graph cylinder.
in archaic myths, lurking in shunned and forbidden volumes, I've been able to trace some parts, speaking about a device of non-terrestrial origin that is capable of much more than I could ever imagine. Ancient cornariums, I will call them. Machines which are said to have been built long before mankind ever tread on this planet. The very source of the design I've used to make my own version of the machine. I hope the ladder doesn't give out under my weight. said that ancient conariums have the ability to transfer one's mind outside through the endless vacuum into other receiving conariums. Just think about the possibility of shedding off the earthbound mortal coil to reach to the stars and yonder as a free agent to see the grand scheme above and beyond the third dimension being able to contemplate vistas and sense things you could never ever dream of with the help of the bodily sensations. Finally, we shall overleap time, space, and dimensions, and without bodily motion, peer to the bottom of creation. Yes, I know how this sounds to you. This is incomprehensible, even for someone like me who spent almost a lifetime on such arcane topics. It is just sad to see. The knowledge has been out there all the time forevermore, and we failed to read between the lines. And what we achieved here, violating the laws of nature with the help of those dead bodies brought here secretly from only God knows where, forcing them to cooperate by the means of the cursed necromancy, and dreaming their dreams in those profane sessions to learn forbidden knowledge. Now I can distinctly see how pure madness once roamed here within our own shoes. Stuck 